Hi everyone, your chess puzzler here, and welcome to the channel. Back to cover the very last game of the super final match between Stockfish and LC Zero or Lilo, if you like. First of all, many thanks to the organizers who make these games possible, and many thanks to both the teams behind these two lovely engines. By far, this super final season 14 was the most difficult, the most suspenseful and probably the most enjoyable from all the other seasons. We had never seen such a close run between the two super finalist engines and they had to take us all the way to the very last game before a winner was declared. And you know, when one engine wins with the margin it did, you can't say one engine is better than the other. When Stockfish managed to pull away with a three points lead, Many thought that was it, but out of nowhere, Lila struck back and not only equalized, but also took the lead for a very long time. It wasn't until round 80 when Stockfish equalized, and in round 85, Stockfish wins one heck of a game, and ever since he kept that difference all the way to the very last game. Any game I cover is going to be spectacular. For now, I want to cover the very last game of the super final game 100 of 100 and therefore we'll return to cover other ones too. Here, Lila needs to win and Stockfish can even do with a draw to see him through. And this is the very game. We're looking at the main line of the knight off. So after e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6, knight c3, and a6. The game continued with bishop g5, and after this move, f4. Bishop e7, queen f3, invited this queen move, which is a typical Sicilian response, even more typical than this b5. b5 moves are often made when white commits to go for long castles, and only then he would try and mount the attack. And speaking of the devil, it wasn't until now that Stockfish went for castles. Knight d7 led to a straight g4, and here came that b5. It's even rare these days not to see queen c7 and b5 in the Sicilian with this type of setup. Takes, takes, led to the direct attack on the knight. And when the knight retreated, Stockfish comes up with something not many would go for. And this is what the engine did, trying to break through. And what does Lila do here? She too comes up with something quite strange. And at first sight, this seems to be a blunder, but is it? This is what she did. If F6, and after takes and takes, this bishop is required to back off and whatever he goes for, I do think he's okay, but he will not rest until this guy on f6 has been eliminated. After knight c5, Stockfish came up with this rook move. But do let me mention one thing here. After knight c5, this was also the end of the opening book. And indeed, this c5 move is a blunder. Because if we look at those evils, both engines have these digits S, 1, 1, and 3. Stockfish has an evil of 1.13, and Leela has an evil of 1.31, both in favor of Stockfish. After this rook move by Stockfish, Leela went for it and attacked this knight. But when the knight backed off, this is what Leela went for, another knight attack. And this knight too was forced back, and this is where he came. After this knight moved to expose the king, the king moved out. And now through this move, Lila was going or trying to turn those evils around. If you take here, there is rook recaptures. And we can clearly see if the rook comes in with a check, this bishop is in time to block and the game goes nowhere. But rather than a rook check, 
What if the queen decides to go after the rook? And after the rook returns to base, can we now try and come in with this check? Takes, takes. And when the bishop comes in to block, white is far better off simply because of the very position of the black king as opposed to the white king. Knight g3, bishop b7, bishop d3, and probably an attack on the queen. The queen will need to back off. But after bishop e7, maybe queen back to g7, not to allow black to castle. Okay, this is one way of looking at this game, but let's return to the actual game itself. After h6, Stockfish never engaged, but pushed on and leaves the deep calculation with Leela and how she would like to move on. Leela castled, which looks a bit strange. And one Stockfish took, the rook came in to recapture. Knight g3, a5, and Stockfish doesn't even wait for Leela to chase after the knight and pulls him away from b3. And this is where the engine places him. He blocks a scope of his own rook, but Stockfish is planning to reposition, otherwise he would have jumped the knight to c1. Bishop a6 to force the exchange, but does Stockfish go for it? He does. And now when the knight made his way northeast, this position is now going to get critical. If we want to know the evils, these are as follows. Stockfish 0.82, Leela 0.75, both in favor of Stockfish. Stockfish has a tiny advantage, but as we have seen previously, and in so many other games, these evils are insignificantly low to trigger any alarm bells. Leela went for a4, and it's going to creep these guys down the board as far as she can. And these are the types of positions you would expect to get with castling on opposite sides. Stockfish wants to find a way to weaken up the king's side and goes for this and is now planning to move the other rook into place. After this knight move to force a response, Stockfish traded and once the bishop wedged right into the middle, there was little chance or no chance to crack black's defense. Stockfish never changed his plan and moved in fast to get all his pieces into place. Knight f1, a3, and knight right into e3. And this knight off was going to end in a spectacular finish. Takes and knight d5. Let to Lila to respond with this. And when this guy was eliminated, any ideas what Lila did? She took advantage of this situation and attack the queen. Rook d3 to cover, got the knight attacked. But after the knight was covered in this way, rook b7, and this game is now on, and out of nowhere, Lila is the one with all the threats. Each engine is trying to find the right balance between attacking and defending. Now, if you can do both, what else do you need? Lila needs a winter standard chance. And any other result is going to Stockfish being crowned the winner of yet another super final. All the engine needs is a draw, but can he manage? Given that Leela was not able to win Stockfish since her last win back in round 63, we're looking at 36 straight rounds where Leela was simply unable to strike back. For sure, Stockfish has stepped it up by a year or two, but Leela. You can say many things about her, but no engine gets into the Superminal by chance. Let's come back to see how this game finally moves on and ends. Given this position, Lila has a tremendous attack, and if only this bishop on f6 was not impeded by his own pawn, this game would have ended already. The game would also probably end if the rook and queen were swapped around. When this position was reached, any ideas what Stockfish did? Rook takes b2 is the most human and most obvious response. But what if I told you Stockfish found something else? Why? Because Stockfish is not human. The engine came up with this forcing response. 
and if you trade the queens, this is most likely to end in a draw. Even if you take, after the queens depart, when this guy on b2 is out the way, black has nothing, or shall I say at best, she's looking for a dead draw. Lila was able to work this one out, and here she moved the queen out of the way. And here's where she went. After the rook eliminated this guy from the equation, there was no way Stockfish was going to let this one slip. By the way, there is another variation here, but does queen takes h6 work? After rook takes a2, how does one work out what is happening? If queen takes bishop, using this pin, after this rook check, king c2, and once this guy promotes to a brand new queen, this will be it. There is king d2, queen e1 check, and this king goes nowhere. And from here, there are so many ways to mate. One is this, queen c1, rook takes knight check, and if you capture with the pawn, there are two ways to mate. One is this, and two is this. And let's hear it from a French friend who's dying to say this. This is our Czech meter, Fospar, Schrecklich. I think even at this position, rather than queen e1 check, queen a2 runs into a mate, but please try and work this one out and let me know how you do. So queen takes h6 is a resounding no, unless you want to lose. After rook takes b2, Lila went for this. And when this guy took, this is what Lila does, which is in fact a very clever resource. Queen e4 to cover for the chance that Leela removes this knight. Let to this rook to back off, but how close can this game be? With no prospect of this guy able to push on, Stockfish went for this, and through this king move, king c1 and queen a7, there was no chance Stockfish was going to allow the queen to penetrate. There is rook e3, and queen e3. But Stockfish went for an entirely different response. This is what the engine went for, covering this vital spot on g1. Queen b7, pinning d5, led to this king response. And after queen b5 to try and slip through, rook e3. A queen check, king d2, queen a7, and king e2. After this rook move, and knight c6, a queen check led to this blockade. And at this moment in the game, though Leela was looking at an evil of plus 0.53, Stockfish had in place those three fat zeros. And there was no way the engine was going to give Leela the slightest of a chance to retaliate. Queen to the edge of the board, queen c2, and another queen check led to this repetition. And both this game and the super final ended here, with each engine sharing the point in the end. If this was a human game, what are the chances Black would repeat moves and draw and not risk it? And this was game 100 of 100. The final standings could not get any closer than this. Stockfish 50.5 and Leela 49.5. And that single point difference is all that Stockfish needed. So once again, Stockfish is the best engine in the world. But for how long? With season 15 awaiting around the corner, and with Lila being hungry for revenge, season 15 is going to be more spectacular and far more powerful than season 14. Okay, there are plenty of other games I wish to cover. But in the meantime, Many thanks to all those who make this tournament possible. And on this note, many thanks for watching. I shall be back, so until that time comes, this was your Chess Puzzler.